Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 13 Farm to Max where last time I made it very abundantly clear what I was going to do between episodes and then I forgot. I literally forgot that I was going to upgrade this elixir collector. And where are you, you little punk? Apparently I have lost it. It is right, it's, uh, it's right there. There it is. It was hiding. It was hiding by next to the laboratory. But yeah, so I was going to upgrade that between episodes. I forgot until just now. So I went ahead and upgraded it because this is kind of a unique situation. I can use a builder potion and I can get another builder available today for today's video. Check this out. Watch this. I'm going to use the builder potion. It speeds up builders 10x for one hour. And if you look at the most uh, shortest upgrade time, it is two hours technically 154 minutes so or i'm sorry 114 minutes there we go 114 minutes so if you divide that by 10 that's basically a youtube video right 10 11 minutes something like that so um so yeah we're gonna be able to use this uh, builder today and it's gonna be exciting so i've got as usual my beautiful yeti smash the basically the only strategy that's working for me on a regular basis and so therefore it's a good strategy. Um, I also want to make sure that I attack bases with lots of loot, like this one. So that was actually really nice timing. The problem is I don't like attacking these types of bases. I mean, I can maybe come in from the top or whatever. Where are the storages actually? Where are the, actually, the storages are not in a terrible place. Remember, my gold is what I need. I don't need elixir or dark elixir anymore. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and attack this base because what I want is within grasp. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, the the um, Grand Warden has begun his onslaughts and it's going to be absolutely glorious. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's get a couple more balloons in here and let's send in the Siege Barracks and the Ice Golem, just like so jump spell over all of that. Let's put in the King and, well, let's put in the crew. Okay, we'll just call them the crew, right? Um, and then let's just throw down a Rage Spell. We really want them to get through and into the next compartment. There we go. Very nice. Very follow. Follow, follow. Go, go, go. Don't break on a wall, you stupid. Where? Okay. I'm wondering where the king's going here. I don't understand what the king's doing. But the healer's stuck onto the queen, which is not a terrible, not a terrible thing to happen. Um, let's actually quad quake right there. That's going to lead them in toward the uh, town hall. And I'm going to rage them through that and poison through that uh, queen as well. And I got the warden's ability, so why not just pop the king's ability? And then the warden's ability. Perfect. So the town hall will go down. We got a queen walk. Unexpected queen walk going on the left. Dude, this is working perfectly. I love this. And let me see. Uh, queen will handle that air defense, and I'll put down the... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I was about to say... I'm a little worried about my baby dragon, but you know what? We're, we're doing fancy job right now. Fancy, fan, fancy pants. Uh, let's put down the wall breakers and the arches. I'm just going to put down everything. And what I'm hoping, actually, is to see the queen return to full health so I can use her in the next raid. Otherwise, we get a no hero situation in the second raid, which apparently is what we've got. Darn it. <laughs> but that's okay. I got loads of loot. Tons of loot. I've got all the loot. Okay. It's going to be okay. So you guys just do your thing. It doesn't really matter what you do at this point. There's no loot left to be had. And as soon as they die out, then, um, you know, ooh, get the scatter shot. Darn it. I would have loved it if we could have taken out that scatter shot. But there we go. So with the loot bonus, this was over 780 thousand gold that is some beautiful loot right there dude some beautiful loot and by the way yes thank you for noticing i did get a haircut yes thank you very much i i very much appreciate that uh all right so anyway let's go let's smack some uh dab right let's get some cc troops and we got to, we got to get our cc before we can go out and raid so i'm going to take this quick opportunity to get you guys in super stoked mode for the stream that is today today is thursday and i'm excited about it as usual we got some really cool stuff coming up for you guys including today being the supporter war uh so stand by it's gonna be absolutely amazing uh, basically everybody who is a five dollar patron or a five dollar member or a five dollar d live subscriber has access to this and everybody that signed up gets to take part every single month so if you want to become a patron or a member or a d live subscriber uh the links for all those things are down below in the description and it looks like nobody is online to give me my cc can we attack without clan castle troops that's my big question i think that we probably could you guys down for like a suicide raid let's go i i got i've got no heroes and no cc literally the dumbest thing that you can do in clash of clans and i'm gonna try it because i feel like i feel like 
if I find the right base, I can probably still be relatively successful. So, okay, all right, this is great right here because it's got 700,000 gold. 700,000, even if we don't get a star, we have the potential to get a lot of loot. And that is really what it's all about, at least for me. So check this out. I got two storages, at least gold, right? That's what I'm looking at, the gold. Two gold storages on the right. I've got one on the top. And I've got one, uh, actually, one in a pretty decent spot here. Actually, let's try to snipe the storage first. I'm going to send out two balloons. And those are going to supply the uh, potential cover from seeking air mines. But I also wanted to potentially um, distract the Arch Tower as long as I possibly could. So there we go. The baby dragon will get this gold storage. This is a lot of gold that we're sniping right now with one single troop. That was awesome. So the next one is here. I don't think I can use air on that. Plus, I've got no more baby, dra I've got no more baby dragons, yo. That's terrible. Um, ooh, and there's a lot of loot in that clown castle. All right, so we're going to pick this baby apart. All right, you guys ready for that? All right, so let's go. Let's put down an, uh, let's put down an ice golem and the healers with the bloom. A few wizards, a few... Uh, yetis and a few bowlers, okay? And then we're gonna drop the wall breakers as well because what I want is I want um, these uh, bowlers and the yetis and stuff to A, take care of the heroes that are there and they get the healers to take care of that and I want them to also get both of the storages, not just one. So this actually worked out really nicely. Uh, the bowlers are taken care of. That was, there we go. That was storage two and storage three. Now we have an E-drag, so that's not good. So here's what we'll do. We're gonna switch over to a wall wrecker and I'm gonna send a wall wrecker in through uh through here that way we make sure that we get in here and get this last storage okay so let's rage and i'm gonna i'm gonna keep a rage on there i've also got a poison so i'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and poison and then ideally we would also get this clan castle so i'm gonna drop that i'm gonna quad quake over everything and i'm just gonna waste the jump spell because i just want a full army oh we had no cc i just realized that i'm dumb i can't believe i just forgot that i had no clan castle i literally just said Yo, we're stupid. We're going to go in and raid without a CC and without heroes. <laughs> but I think we were very successful. Look at that. That was nearly half a million gold without using heroes. Yeah, I, granted, I did lose 26 trophies, and that's unacceptable to some people. But to me, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. I don't care about my trophies. I do care about half a million gold in the in the storage that was awesome okay so I, I i actually you know what i genuinely oh thank you xerox for the cc troops uh a little a little late but that's all right i'm not gonna be picky i'll use that for the next raid so anyway um yeah so that was that was fun i actually liked picking apart that base and changing the strategy a bit because here's the thing it's always get in take out the town hall what about just pick off some storages on the outside and cut our losses right i think that was a lot of fun. So let's go into my progress base and let's take a look at what's going on. First of all, we have seven defenses left, just like I mentioned in the previous video. We also have one elixir collector left. So I could technically just upgrade the elixir collector, say, yo, we're done with the elixir collectors and all of this uh, uh, resource infrastructure, right? They're finally upgraded. It took forever. Um, but I'm, I'm not really interested in that today. I'm not. I'm not interested in that today. Today, what I'm interested in is seeing this builder we're gonna call him bob okay we're gonna name we're gonna give bob the builder an opportunity to go right back to work immediately you guys down for that i am too so let's use 12 gems easy dude that's like what two two stumps you remove two stumps and each one has six gems in it and you're done i'm gonna go ahead and use actually if i'm patient it might go down to 11 <laughs> but i don't have anything else to do really so i might as well use the gem oh there we go 11 gems perfect i just saved a gem Every gem counts. Let's go ahead and use this guy's 11 gems in three, two, one. Bam! What's up, builder? What's up? Oh, that's the master builder. He's got a totally different name. His name is obviously... What's his name? I'm going to guess Octavius. Octavius, the builder. Yes, for the master builder from the builder base, his name's Octavius. Unless you know better... Let me know in the comments, right? So, let's upgrade this cannon while the boost is going. 12.6 million go. Oh, wow. I barely made it. That was intense, dude. Yeah, I barely had enough gold to do this. This is amazing. It's uh, basically if you round up a 14-day upgrade, um, and I have just enough loot for it. And then, we'll have only six defenses to go. Let's do it. In three, two, one, bam. Alrighty then. So there you go, guys. That is amazing. That was the, uh, what is that? The second to last cannon? Oh, we got two cannons left. Okay. Very good. So 
Dude, that's about as much progress as we could have hoped for. Again, we have no other way to spend elixir or dark elixir. Our laboratory is done, our walls are done, the heroes are done, everything's done. The only things we have left is a single elixir collector, as you can see by the list, two cannons, and four mortars. That's amazing. I mean, that is like completely and utterly mind-blowing to me that we're so close to done. I can't wait. Um, and that pretty much does it for me today in this episode of Farm to Max, Town Hall 13. I mean, dude, progress is abound. I love it, and I love the builder boosts. It comes in handy when I have these situations where I need to film something and... I don't have the builder yet. Got a couple of hours to wait. You know what I'm saying? So it worked out really nicely. So, um, guys, when's the next builder available? Wow, four days from now. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I got, we got some time to wait then. <laughs> That's cool. So, uh, guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 13 Farm to Max. I think this proved that you can be successful if you're in a bad clan and have no heroes because you're upgrading them, right? Um, I'm not in a bad clan. I just was impatient. That's totally a different situation. That's that's a me issue, not a clan mate issue. But that's okay. It was cool. It was proving a point, right? That was awesome. So, uh, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, like today's video if you liked it also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and you join the hashtag klaus family also don't forget to ring the bell to receive notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos but as usual remember that the members see them 24 hours earlier than you do for two dollars that's it only two bucks they get to watch the videos early and they don't have to watch any ads pretty sick if you want to be a member super super awesome opportunity check out the link that is provided for you guys down below in the description also don't forget to use your favorite creators code and support them it's a really big thing huge especially if you decide to buy the gold pass or gems or whatever make sure that you're supporting your favorite content creator whoever that may be now if that's me please use code klaus i provided for you guys a very famous and fancy link that is down below in the description but you want to make sure and double check and make sure that you're supporting somebody before you make an in-game purchase because it does disappear after seven days i hate that but that it is the what it is so to double check and make sure that you're supporting somebody hit the gears button at the bottom right hand side to go to your settings go to more settings and scroll down to the bottom and there you go mine expired i need to fill it in so we're going to input code klaus capital k lowercase k both work fine so there you go. I'm now officially supporting myself all for, all for the show. You guys know I don't ever spend money on the game. But anyway, so guys, that's going to be it for me today. Be sure and tune in to the live stream. Once again, we stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Today's Thursday at noon Eastern time. We'll be live. So check out the link in the description to come on out and hang out with us. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.